Hi everyone, I'm here with the Tim Holtz haul. Here is the 8.5 inch trimmer, it's like a guillotine trimmer. Sorry, I didn't have these prepared ahead of time. I'm just walking with you through the whole process. This packaging is horrible. I mean, you can't even get it open. Here we go. I have lots of more goodies coming up, so just keep on watching. Tons of Tim Holtz goodies. So I'm just showing you that there's card markings on there. It's a it's a popular guillotine trimmer for card makers, apparently, and they have the little measurements marked off for you on the board. That little um, plastic guard doesn't come up and it just lifts up just a little bit so you can get some card stuck under there. And it just helps protect your fingers from the blade. Here I am measuring out to, I think it's the 4.5 um, measurement that they have on the board. Again, we're trying at the 4.5 mark. We're going to try a little sliver, see how that works, how, how it does. It does an excellent job. The blades are amazing. I love this little trimmer. It's lightweight, but sturdy. Um, again, I'm just showing you that little guard doesn't come up. There's no way to remove it. Then I'm showing you the blades. Overall, I really like this trimmer, and I think I'll be using it often. Okay, here's some other crafty tools. Right there is the retractable blade, and, it, and I got some spare blades as well. It comes with two extra blades. It doesn't fully expose the blade. I guess just a little bit comes out, which is fine. These are awesome. At first, I didn't really know what they were, other than I thought they were like... um rotary blades all of them but they're all different that black one there is a perforated blade that one is the blade and that one's a scoring tool so that's pretty awesome so this one here is a craft pick I love it I have one so off camera I'm trying to look for my craft pick to show you there's mine I love it it comes out pretty far retracts back in this is um, a craft brush and you can just add texture to different projects with mixed media um, texture paste and then add your little lines or whatever you want to with that craft um, brush I love these scissors these are amazing scissors that's the 9 inch and I have the 7 inch already they're amazing. They're um, titanium, micro serrated. You can cut tape with it and it doesn't stick to the blade. That's what I really love. And it's sharp and precise. There's the small one. Really good for fussy cutting. I think out of my whole haul, those are my favorites. Again, I'm going to show you, demonstrate on the um, blades and cutting tool. That one is the cutting blade. It sticks out just a little bit, if you can see how much of the rotary tool sticks out. So it's a little bit hard for me to um, cut with. But if you're going to do like a simple project and it's just a small piece that you're cutting out, I think it would do just fine. But I think the ruler that I'm using is a little too um, thick so it's not allowing the blade to touch the paper. That's the perforated blade. And that's just, I'm like so impressed with that. I thought it was so awesome. So you can cut yourself a ticket. Look at that, that's awesome. I didn't demonstrate the white one or the gray one because it's just a scoring tool. Here's the retractable blade. So it did okay, but like I said, it doesn't really extend out too far. That one is my Dollar Tree or Dollar Store blade, and I love it. The box cutter works excellent. 
Anyway, so the Tim Holtz retractable blade didn't really extend out, so it kind of was hard to cut out. And these are just some sentiments that I picked up as well. Um, I'm going to show you really quickly what's in there. there. You get four sheets. And there's that one just called Clippings Stickers. And you get 295 stickers in this pack. There's a lot of really cute things. This one's metallic stickers, that's what it's called, and the, the, it's called quotations. You get 316 stickers, two sets of gold, and two sets of silver, but they're all the same things on every single page. So you just get two packs, or the black with the silver, the black with the gold, and you get the white background with the silver, and the white background with the gold. And this one, I think we've all seen this one before, but it's just a, it's a Tim Holtz ideology small talk and you get 296 stickers or sediment state, sediment sayings. Just kind of giving you a flip, a quick flip through. Here's some little, um, more of the Tim Holtz ideology. I have a bulb clip right there. And I'm just showing you that it's pliable, bendable. Um, that was $3.99 from Hobby Lobby. And these are the um, Tim Holtz typed tokens Christmas theme. And they have all different kinds of little um, Christmas sentiments on there like Santa, Mary, Joy, Noel, different things on there and even has the number 25 a couple of times. I think you get two of those, the December 25, Wish, a lot of really cute stuff for Christmas that you can add on to any of your projects for Christmas. Right there is the Ideology Snowflakes. No two snowflakes are alike. I love these. These are the mini paper clips. They're so cute. And you get 48 paper clips in that, that container. The um, typed tokens for Christmas, there are 18 pieces in there. And these are the Tim Holtz Ideology Christmas Bells. And they're all different sizes. Excuse me, I just got over, I'm getting over a cold and I usually just do like a text over, but I'm doing a voiceover at this time and I keep having to pause to clear my throat. So if my recording's not completely um, flowing, that's why. These are really cute, I love these. These are the wire pins. And it just gives some different kind of dimension to your projects as well. If you want to put a charm on there and then clip it onto your um, tag, traveler's notebook, anything. That's a page distressor. And you have um, lots of different areas to put your paper through. I'm going to demonstrate it really quick. And it's just going to give a little bit of a rough edge to your paper that you're using. I did notice that I had to hold on to this cardstock pretty firmly in order for me to get any kind of um, distressing. I, I think I need to play with it a little bit more in order to fully uh, get used to it. Otherwise, I didn't really care for it when I was doing this demonstration because, like I said, I had to really firmly hold the cardstock and have the little tool go against the paper harsh or hard in order to get that distressed look I was wanting. 
but I have seen other people use this in their um, tutorials and they don't seem to have this problem that I am so I think I need to play around with it some more here we go we have some Sizzix uh, Tim Holtz embossing folders I picked these up from Tuesday morning and um, this is Jingle Bells, I believe, all, all over. I did a couple of them. I love this one. This one's really cool. It gives you this year's December calendar. Then you can go over it with some distress ink or something like that to make the um, words or the December and the numbers pop. Okay, this one here is really cool. Um, it is the Tim Holtz tissue paper. And um, I found like the little edge right there is sharp so be careful it's not metal though it's um, a really thick plastic but it is sharp and I'm taking out the tissue paper to show you what it's like as far as like um, pli or pliability and uh, some tissue papers you know rip really easily actually most tissue paper rips really easily this isn't. It has a little bit of fibrous feeling to it. It's like waxy, and but you can still write on it easily and even stamp on it. I'll show you. I'm trying to get that little no, um, knob or whatever that, I don't know what it's called. But you push it in and it's supposed to hold your tissue paper in place. So I'm trying to pop it in place so I can load my tissue paper. I should have did this off camera. Um, Anyway, so I'm going to pull some out and then we'll test it. I really like this tissue paper, the feel of it. I want to say it's waxy, but it's also very papery still. See, it's giving me a little bit of resistance. You, you can crinkle it, uh, decoupage it onto a project. I just think it's really cool. And it's very well made. I'm going to stamp a little stamp on there. And this is just a generic um, ink that I'm using from my local dollar store, so it's not anything special. But it did a good job. You can see the little snowman on there. And it's like paper, so it did get soaked in. It's not rubbing off. Then I got some uh, distress tags. You can watercolor on them. They're pretty durable stamp on it, whatever you like. Here is an ephemera pack, and it's called Thrift Shop. Here's another pack of ephemera that I got, the cardstock pieces, and here is the ephemera pack Christmas Noel Navidad from the Tim Holtz line. I'm going to quickly show you what, what's inside of there. There are a few pieces that I found that there, you have a smaller one and a bigger one. Some tickets. A lot of great pieces. You can put those in your junk journals, traveler's notebooks. Uh, some people are doing their December dailies and they use these. I like to distress the edges and then layer it with something. That's how I would use mine in my journal. They're really cute. I love all these little pieces. There's a small one and a big one. There's a small, there's the big one. I'm looking for the small one. I know I saw it in there somewhere. There's another small and big one. That's so cute, some stamps. Small and big one, small and big one. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, now I'm going to go through the thrift shop from my pack. And these are like, they're pretty sturdy. Um, maybe like a cardstock feel to these pieces. 
I'm super excited. I have a Tim Holtz haul part two that I'll be coming on with. And I do have this ephemera pack thrift shop in a vellum, which is awesome. I love vellum. Just going through real quick, showing you what comes in there. I like there's a little dress piece that's coming out. I love that one. That's really pretty. Again, I would just use these on any kind of projects, uh, junk journaling, putting them on cards. I even glued one onto a tag, and then I went over it with some, I believe, like crackling glaze, and so it gave a, an extra old feel to it because it had like crackling on top. Sorry, I have to keep clearing my throat. <clears> throat> So I've, oh, I love this one. This is the Tim Holtz 8x8 paper pad. I'm sure you guys have seen this. I know a lot of people have been hauling it for Christmas. I'm showing you the front. They're double-sided. Okay, so we're gonna go through and look at the back side. And then I'm like, okay, hello. They have it on the back. You can just look at the back and see all the sheets that are offered. Those are my favorites. And this is, like a textured paper you get two sheets of each and it has a texturing to it it's very pretty okay and then these are flashcards they're the Tim Holtz holiday flashcards and there's just little sayings on each one they're back they're double-sided so one side has a saying and then the other side has another saying um they're like a forest green and the other side's like a rustic reddish color um i'm showing you all the different sayings that are on there but you can't even see it i didn't realize but one side says cheer the other side's holiday believe saint nick jingle mary frosty snow jolly santa bright festive give joyful season wish Peace, Spirit, Magic, Winter, Holly, Noel, Wonder, Tidings, Wish, Love, Twinkle, and then Star, Tinsel, Lights, Joy, Hope, Home, Gather, Tree, Gift. Just kind of quickly going through all those and showing you. Uh, a lot of them are doubled, even tripled. I think I even had a couple that had or the same kind. Um, so this little pack, you get 72 pieces and this little flashcard pack. I think that'll be fun to put into your December daily and incorporate those. Distress the edges, turn it into a tuck spot or layer it in your pieces. I've recorded this video several times and it keeps coming up to be like over 40 minutes long. So I used the speeding feature on this editing. Um, here are some chipboard pieces for the holiday season. Um, they're just holiday words on chipboard. And it's called Christmas. I'm just going to show you a few pieces out of here. They're pretty thick. I did test one of these to see if you can peel them to make them less thick. Like if you just wanted to use the sediment. And it does peel away pretty easy. So if you wanted to do that, you know, that's, that's an option. Or just use it as it is. Like I said, I was recording this and it came up to 40 minutes and I tried doing it again and it was like 40 minutes again. And now that I'm editing, I've 
tried editing it, editing it several times, and like I said, I was sick, so I had to do a text over, and then my video shop app kept crashing because I had too much, um, I was getting close to full memory capacity, so I had to work around that. Anyway, so this has been a labor of love trying to get this video out. Just going through really quickly, showing you all the pieces. There's quite a bit you get in there, so that'll last you into next year, next Christmas. <laughs>